are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction of the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the New Orleans Saints. Ready? Wait! Breeze now on first down. And incomplete to open things up. And that's one he's got to be happy to have back. There wasn't a hole open in the zone. You'd have to think on early downs like that first down there, need to be a little bit more careful. Yeah, fortunately for him, got a couple more downs to play with. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Four down, four down. Ready, we waiting. We're shot. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And they'll be facing a third and 12. Shut down, shut down. Wait, wait, wait Working from the gun, it's Breeze. On the check down, he finds Kamara. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. And they'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Now Austin. <laughs> nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Dallas getting the ball again here on offense, and the Cowboys haven't been able to build a ton of momentum if you look at their 2018 season as a whole, Charles. In fact, the first seven weeks before the bye earlier in the year, it was kind of like flipping a coin. It was loss, win, loss, win, loss, win. So I don't know what you make of this team. You would actually expect that coin to come up heads two times in a row or tails two times in a row, wouldn't you? I think that we'll see the second half belong to Ezekiel Elliott because the move to get Amari Cooper out wide should open things up a little bit more and he's such an impact player and that's how they play best him leading running the football and establishing the line of scrimmage and also working in their favor there's absolutely no one running away with the nfc east yeah redskins and eagles they're in the mix obviously at the top but you're right just above 500. they keep on the ground with elliott and he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. On second down, Elliott. And an alley to run! And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation. We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game. And it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. A first down throw for Prescott. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing again, Prescott on second and 10. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Pressure, and that's certainly going to be a key to this game going forward. And that time, they were able to get in there and influence the throw. And remember, quarterbacks got to get rid of it. They don't have the tucker roll that they can fall back on anymore. 
Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he gets it down to the 32. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. And forthcoming, a field goal try for the Cowboys. This is a 49-yard attempt. Right hash. And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So our initial drive of the night ends in three points. Maybe not exactly what this home crowd wanted, but they'll take the early lead. They will take it. You're exactly right. Everybody wants a touchdown. But in this case, good opening drive, put points on the board, and a lot of coaches do believe the first team to score in the game, statistically, often ends up the winner. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The football going back over to the New Orleans Saints uh, and a team this year, Charles, that really took off after that week one loss. For me, it all came together week nine. You think back to that game when they beat the Rams, knocked off their undefeated streak to start the regular season. So now, are the Saints really Super Bowl winning contenders? I mean, do you put them in that category? I certainly do, and I think people were wondering how they would respond this season after what happened. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Cheetah Bay Aluzie with a pick. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. He was trying to hit his big receiver, Brandon Marshall. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down a score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. A second down throw for Prescott. And this one brought in by Gathers. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. First time that they called his number tonight, and it gets him a first down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Now a play fake here on first down. Looking and finding Allen Hearns. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 as they're down to the 29-yard line. Prescott to throw it. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 21, just shy of the 20 in the red zone. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Two yards on the pick up there, but it's enough to give them a new set of downs. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. The first opportunity in the red zone for the Cowboys. First and 10 at the 19. Hey, here we go. 
Again to Elliott. And he'll get this down only to the 18. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense, and guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. They'll run it now out of the gun. Now they have a first down and more. And did he get in? No, down at the one-yard line. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. Well, they're making a real first-quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old-school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. Prescott down, and that is caught by the back judge right there to say incomplete. He was looking to get it to Allen Hearns that time. And now it's second down. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball on first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action and maybe throwing it. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line of scrimmage. And my guess is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on when you can play action them or stick something to them between the second and the third level. Prescott on third and goal. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. That's almost just not right. You cover everybody. But those tight ends, they can be awfully reliable. Very reliable. It, the defense just has to hate those guys. <laughs> this drives them crazy because oftentimes you can't match up with them. They have either with size, speed, or maybe even just strength. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10 0. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And this is a unit that, to be frank, doesn't look like they've woken up yet. I mean, a punt and a turnover on their first two drives. And I think the game's starting to take shape a little bit now. And I'm going to take it into the basketball world. When you're having trouble scoring or moving the ball in basketball, what do they do? Get it to their best player, right? Find a matchup, create it, exploit it, and try to move the football. They start the drive on the ground. Kamara takes this to the 27, give him four yards. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while, get at least two first downs, give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The play fake to Ingram. Now it's Breeze. And Josh Hill has it. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense. And reading your keys, you always hear about that, and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? That sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. Ready. We're waiting. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And oh, his first carry loses the football. And the Cowboys have recovered. Well, he's not the starter coming in, getting his first carry off the bench. 
That's not the way to earn more carries. You have to stay in the game, even if you're not on the field, right? Stay mentally sharp, stay ready, and above all, when you get into the game, hold on to the football. Don't let the other team have it. Gonna throw right side here, complete. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. From the gun, it's Breeze. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Carr. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. A very solid gain of 27. Throwing on first down is Breeze. He's got a man. That's Marshall. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders. Hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone or... Better against man because now you're running away from someone and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. Again, it's Breeze. Looking for Marshall, but it's intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Sean Lee. And to the 12, that's where it stops. The return is halted at the 12-yard line. All right, work with me, partner. This is a classic understatement. Their execution has been very poor. Last three drives, two interceptions and a fumble. Winning football, we're not seeing it right now. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. 10 yards there to start the drive, and just enough by about the length of the football for a first down. Right back to him on first down. 25 yards to pick up there, and also a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, knock it loose, because maybe you can't just stop him with just regular tackling. Throwing, Prescott throw is going to be incomplete. Intended that time for Cooper. That'll bring up second down. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. Felt like it was in the air for a while. What it does is it allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Tim carry now for Elliott. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. A nice job to get eight there after the incompletion, and now they'll look at a third and two coming up. Well, they're making an effort to get the ground game going tonight. So far, it's working. I like what we're seeing from the offensive line. They seem to have the leverage going, and they're controlling things and reestablishing the line of scrimmage, moving that defensive front backwards. But also like what the runner's giving us, too. It appears that he's been waiting all day long to get out here and take off. Staying on the ground. This time it's Smith. He's got a first down and more inside the 30. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big hitter there. A first down gain of 26 yards. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. From the red zone now, Prescott over the middle, and 
and it's incomplete. Amari Cooper, his intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. They always say that real estate is about location. Well, guess what? When it's a slant route, the quick ones, timing, timing, timing. Got to be able to lead your man with the football. And the timing off right there, threw it behind him. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Prescott from the gun, able to get away. That's why you keep the legs churning. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys like we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs, as we just saw there. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and seven. Here's Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. Elliott a first down and more. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. Now the try here for the point after. Point after up and good. And yeah, that makes our score 17 0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. The return man is Hill. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. And now the Saints get set to trot out there. And two picks thrown here in this first half alone. We'll see how that affects him. Can't wait to see where his confidence is because the great ones, They'll throw four or five picks, and while it'll hurt their team, it won't hurt their confidence. They'll think something was just wrong with the ball or the wind <laughs> or something was funny. It's never about them. That's how they stay so into the moment and into the game. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw, and they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Call it a one-yard gain on the play, and it'll be a second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Breeze to throw on second down. And that's complete to the right side. It's Marshall. And a pretty little juke move there on a nice game. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down, so hang on. A big call coming on third down. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And problems spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. They have to be pleased with the way that they moved the football thus far. And why wouldn't they be? Two touchdowns on a field goal in their first three possessions. They're playing so well right now, the field goal probably feels like a disappointment. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 20. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Wide open receiver complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. An excellent pickup of 34 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. 
But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. A first down carry by Elliott, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Prescott now on second down. And he'll hit the slant route. That's caught by Cooper. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Cooper's first catch and good for a first down. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Cole Beasley, the intended target, and it's second down. I think he's a little trigger happy right there, and it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. Well, we know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, any time, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. A second down throw for Prescott. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. The Cowboys on third down. They've been good, three for four thus far. This time, it's third and three. To the air again, Prescott. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down to about the 21 or 22. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Prescott now 11 of 17 passing thus far. He's got his guys a first and 10. The give is to Elliott. Open space inside the 10. And he gets it all the way down to the three. That good for 19 at a first down. This guy's well on his way now to a big game on the ground. It's another good run there. Puts him over the century mark in yardage. And we're still in the second quarter. time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line the loss of a full three yards and now it's second down well with the kind of half he's had i think we can forgive him that run right not every run's gonna be a big play is it no and also the blocking just wasn't there no room to run yeah defensively they gotta find a way to build on that because he's eating them alive in the first half second down prescott this will be caught at about the five. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. Prescott from the gun on third. Flush. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Dak Prescott on his way to a monster game. Three first-half touchdowns. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. That was not a designed run. It was supposed to be a pass, but it turned into an exceptional run. What a scramble for a touchdown. Extra point right down the middle. And a route is on here in this first half.
Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. The dangerous hill now to return. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. Typically down to the first half, I might say, oh, you at least need a field goal out of this drive, <laughs> but they're down to the point where they need a touchdown, don't they? Yeah, and normally you know me. I mean, you've been around me for a while now, right? Unfortunately. I'm the, yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> but normally I'm the one pr uh, preaching patience. Yeah. You know, take your time, first half, you still got a chance. I think they're out of patience here. This has to be a drive that gets a touchdown. So if you're the play caller, you're going to that portion of the sheet that says big time plays, specials, anything you can use to get yourself back into it. 10 yards on the pick up there and it'll be second down. If you're gonna blitz, likely gonna leave you in man coverage with this guy and that is less than ideal. It is because just about any offense that has an elite receiver, if you blitz and have him in man coverage, you're going to him even if he has an elite defender on him because he usually knows where the ball is before the defender does. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his big target, Brandon Marshall, and it'll bring up third down. He's got to be kicking himself right there. His team's already picked off two passes. That would have been the third in the game, and boy, they've really played well in attacking the football. The offense on third down tonight, just one for three thus far. They're looking at third and a few inches. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. Exactly what they needed right there because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Here we go. Ready. Ready. On second down, Ingram. Back-to-back -back stops, make it third and ten. No gain on that run, and while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Ready. Ready. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Throw left side complete. It's Carr. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It'll be a gain of 16 and give him a first down as well. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. This is Ingram on first and 10. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. Now Breeze throwing on second down. Pressure, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back right around the 44. Sean Lee in from his linebacker spot. He's able to drop it for a loss of about 10. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze, and the Saints up against it here. Ready, ready. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up front. Yeah. 
So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Shotgun now for Breeze. And he's going to go down again. Three scores down, not even a halftime yet. They have not getting much generated offensively. They've got to figure it out. It's tough because this, this defense just seems to be playing with so much confidence right now. They really are. They are on their toes, and they're getting at them. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New Orleans. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. So out come the Cowboys now as their offense gets set to take over. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. A first down throw for Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. A second down throw for Prescott. And Beasley with it over the middle. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. A Dallas first down. Prescott hook it up with Beasley. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. First down, Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. That throw good for four. It's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. They'll throw again. Prescott. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning. Got a nice little margin on the scoreboard. Completing some passes. And they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. Final play of the half, Prescott, his throw incomplete. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. To throw is Prescott. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Solid way to start the drive. 13 yards picking up the first. It's funny when I go back to our pregame meeting with Amari Cooper and we mentioned, eh, what if they play man coverage against you? He almost seemed offended by it, didn't he? I'll beat it. That's basically <laughs> what he said, right? I mean, the best receivers we've ever talked to and covered, when you talk about covering them with one guy, they think that's a personal affront. If they feel like if they can't just beat one defender, then they're not very good. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. It'll be a pickup of just two, and it's a second down. Well, it's tough to be a defender in today's NFL because there's so many things to account for in today's passing game, including the back sneaking out of the backfield. Not quite as bad as a turkey bowl where you have that center eligible stuff, but still a lot of guys to account for. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Jeff Swain, the intended receiver. And that'll make it third down. 
Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, look credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. On third down, it's Prescott. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Give him two yards on that play, and that'll bring up fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Well, they're going to have to go at least 50, 60 yards here if they want to ensure that they don't have to punt the ball like they did last time. Yeah, so what you're saying is we're not playing to just get out of the shadow of your own goal line, right? You're playing to make sure the punter doesn't see the field again. So it's not picking up a couple of first downs. You want to pick up five or six first downs and make sure you move the ball into their territory. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And not much there as he gets it up to about the five-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Back near his goal line, here's Breeze. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Carr. He's at the 30, 20. And he takes this down deep on the Cowboys side of the field. A big play there on the catch and run, 89 yards. Coaches really don't care from what position they get this, but run after the catch ability, rack ability, is often the difference between winning and losing and changing field position. So that's about as long a non-scoring play as you're gonna see from inside their own 10 to first and goal. Throwing now is Breeze. And he's got him, it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Traquan Smith from six yards away. And the Saints get a bit closer. Now Breeze will bring the Saints offense up to go for two here. We got four. Ready. We waiting. Hey, it looked like some movement there. Let's get the call. Now remember, still time. They can elect to kick it now from back at the 20. You have to know what you have mentally from your kicker because the extra points have stressed these guys out all across the league. But I think at this stage of the game, I tried him out there and try it from the 20. And now they'll empty the backfield here as they elect to go for two. From the gun, it's Breeze. And they're going to get the two-point conversion caught in the end zone. And that cuts the lead a bit further. Lutz now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And now here come the Cowboys. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because... What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you think you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. 
third quarter and you've got the lead, you're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Prescott. And that is incomplete. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That yeah, came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. The Cowboys on third down. They've been very good, five for seven thus far. This will be third and five. Throwing, Prescott. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll punt it away for the second time. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. They come in off a touchdown drive the last time they had the ball that cut down that lead. Now the defense has done their part, got them the football back. Momentum started to shift a little bit when they scored the touchdown. It increased when the defense got them the ball back. Momentum definitely in their favor. Now they got to keep things cranking, keep it on high so they can keep cutting into that lead. They'll try to get the ground game going with Ingram. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made. And that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And they went for a big play through the air on second down. Couldn't connect. Now it's third. They have not gotten him going at all. Tried to spark something there with a longer throw. Unable to complete it. But you have to keep trying. He's one of their best playmakers. No matter what it says on the scoreboard, you're always trying to get him the football. Ready, ready. On third down, Mark Ingram. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. How about the fellas with the stars on the side of their helmets rising up on defense? We always hear about the Cowboys rushing offense. Their rush defense is pretty good as well, I think, because they're so cohesive. Defensive line linebackers really work well together. Here's Thomas Morstead now. He's been terrific so far. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. They'll start the drive with Elliott. And a second spin. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense, because in a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. From all the way up at the 38 now, after a good start to the drive. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Another carry tonight for the workhorse Elliott. And he will be brought down at about the 43 that time. 
Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Well, that's not a run that's going to make any of the highlight tapes, but they've been moving it well all game on the ground. This is another one that keeps them moving forward. The Cowboys on third down. They've had good success, five for eight to this point. This will be third and six. Prescott from the gun. Oh, incomplete. Nearly the pick they needed. They would have loved one there, but at least it does get them to fourth down. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. But you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage will be found. So go. now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Ingram again. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. And Watson has it right side. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Here's Thomas Morstead now, standing about a yard deep in his own end zone. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Here's Austin. Well, he wasn't too far from breaking that. Officially, give him 15. And out will come the offense as they take over. And out now come the Cowboys. And right now, these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. They start on the ground with Elliott. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. But that certainly felt like an example of a defense just saying, OK, <laughs> we've had enough. We've gotten mashed all night long. About time we got a good play in. But flip it over to the offensive side. They've got to be really upset that they allowed a play like that to happen. They were pitching such a great game. They want to keep it going. Looking to throw. Prescott. Sideline throw. That's caught. Amari Cooper. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up and making sure it was a catch. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. 
Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They had punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pickup there to keep this drive going. Now a play fake here on first down. Drops it underneath to Elliott. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And an alley to run. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves to James. And he continues to pile up the yardage. That puts him over above 50 now. And this defense has really had its problems trying to keep him contained. So after a good run by Zeke, another first and 10. Right back to him on first down. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Prescott now on second down. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Demario Davis coming hard on the blitz. He dumps him for a loss of eight. Enough takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And they'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. Prescott to throw it. Cooper's got it, and they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And it all came together there in breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line, second and goal. Now Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. The Cowboys on third down. Now they've converted seven times and could use another right now. They're looking at a third and goal here. Here's Elliott, and he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. There are certain drives in the game where anything less than a touchdown that caps it feels like an absolute disappointment. This is one of those drives. Back now in Arlington, it's the Cowboys with a the football. They'll be looking to tack onto their lead as we get set for the fourth. And his kick is good. And that will make this now a 19-point advantage. So with that, you figure, yeah, this game's pretty much out of reach at this point. Yeah, it's going to take a heck of a comeback to come from three scores down. But don't change that channel. Don't go away. Miracles can happen. And you want to be here in case it does. You're a company man. Now, aren't I, though? Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. 
That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And on the last go-around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Breeze now. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Ready? Ready? Breeze will try again on second down. He hits his target, left side, Watson. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A nice pick up there, 10 yards, and it'll move the sticks. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. Breeze now, 6 for 6 since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Breeze. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Breeze now on first down. He throws and he hits the slant route to Thomas. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Ten yards on the pickup there and it'll be second down. Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Again, they'll throw with Breeze. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted three times in eight chances. They're looking at third in the nose of the football. Breeze to throw again. Looking left side and he's got a man. That's Carr. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. And they keep those sticks moving forward that time with a gain of three. Throwing on first down is Breeze. It's a loss of 10 yards on the play, and it'll make this a second and long. Midfield. Here's Breeze. Over the middle to Smith. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. A good pick up there. 13 yards as they get closer for third down. The Saints on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This is third and seven. Shotgun now for Breeze. And incomplete. The contact made the ball run free and brings up fourth down. Time, 
We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. And he's going to miss this one wide to the left from distance. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, sent this one off target. So Prescott of the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at the 45. Elliott. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back at New Paltz, Mrs. Bifema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go Largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. Call it a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. On third down, Elliott. And he has the first down yardage before they bring him down right at the 45. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. Brandon, when a defense just simply can't get off the field on third down, and we all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball, you often feel like you're just a step behind whatever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Finally, defensively, they have a little clip to show positive for actually stopping him running the football. It's been a really long night for them, hasn't it? So they got a little bit of a win there, but let's face it. The vision that he's had running the football has carried his feet to the open spaces and to big yardage all night long. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. And this is caught off a deflection. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Sometimes luck is all you need. That was not even the intended receiver on that play. Well, Johnny on the spot, though. Yeah, and it turned into a big play for those guys on offense. They'll take it each and every time. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Here's Elliott. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. Yeah, baby! So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. So this will be spotted on the midfield logo. It's a 58-yard attempt. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of leg behind it. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points, but this widens it out, as you said, and now it's all about ball control, isn't it? The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they had compiled a pretty long drive last time. Unfortunately, though, it ended with no points after the missed field goal. And that can hurt the psyche of a team because as they drove downfield, you know you're never supposed to count points in your mind until they go up on the board. But let's face it, we've been there, we've seen teams before. They were counting on those points. They didn't get them, 
Can they come back now, start over again, and grind it out? On the check down, he finds Kamara. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? On first down, Breeze. Wide open, it's Marshall complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And that one results in 35 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? So the big play gets them all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Ready? You ready? Breeze now on first down. Over the middle complete. It's Watson. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. Ready, I'm ready, I'm set, I'm set. They'll run here with Ingram. And now running right through him. And he was able to shed the tackle, but the reserves come in for the stop. It's a gain of a yard, and it'll set up second and goal. Do you think after that last run, they're thinking to themselves, we had to wait all day to play this night game, and we're still not able to run the ball the way we want to? Yeah, this defense, they've risen to the challenge all evening long. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. You ready? Return! From the gun, it's Breeze. That's caught, it's Thomas. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. Ready, yellow lady. Here's Breeze to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas. Partner's bad enough when you just can't hold on to the football. But when your quarterback's throwing it to the other team, that's three interceptions now, four turnovers for the game. You really have no chance to win the football game. It's a linebacker, Manti Teo, on the stop. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. And he's able to plow forward up to about the 29, just shy of the 30. Good work to pick up seven yards there. That gets him into a third and one situation. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. And he didn't quite have the backspin on that one. It hits at the four and continues into the end zone. It's a touchback. 
Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Throwing now is Breeze. Looking left sideline, incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it, or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it, no one got it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Back to the air on second down, it's Breeze. And it's incomplete, took a shot, couldn't connect. The target that time, Michael Thomas, and it's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Ready. Ready. Now, Breeze again. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact, that's how you end up winning it. Here's Thomas Morstead now. He's been one of their few bright spots so far. That'll be a 50-yard punt with eight on the return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. They have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game. Just one kneel here, and this game should be over. And it's always the final play of preparation each week. The practicing of the kneel down formation, the victory formation. We've got a game in hand, and that's all they're going to want to do now. They'll put someone back deep just in case something goes haywire. But all in all, take the snap, kneel down, and, and shake hands. Yes. <laughs> Get out of there. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. He's had a big game tonight, and while no one's going to be overly concerned about that last play, you also know that the offense coordinator does not want to see that happen again. They want to get back to doing what they've been doing all game long. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Charles, I think when the schedule comes out, all teams, no matter where they're predicted to finish, talk about protecting your home turf. They were able to do that here in this one. Similar to a tennis match, right? Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.